Right, we're going to start by looking at the drive shaft for the case swap jazz. We have parts from an EP3, which are various bits and pieces. This is obviously the second part of the split shaft. I need to take that CV joint off and put a regular inner one on and swap the outer one for a B series CV joint, which is over there. Because uh, it uses B series outer CVs to fit the jazz hubs. On these, you normally have a, an ABS ring which you have to knock that ABS ring off because it won't clear the hub otherwise. And there was there a dust shield as well, Johnny, can you remember? Yeah, there was like a rubber seal. Yeah, and a rubber seal as well. But you had to take that one off. Um, so then that fits into there. Uh, with a bit of luck, these inner splines here will fit onto the EP3 shaft. Uh, we'll find out very shortly. So first thing we need to do is take that shaft to pieces because we need to use this as the shorter side and then use this is the longer side apparently or something like that but anyway we'll find out shortly to get your cvs off you need to hammer them one hit are you joking <laughs> no way like one hit wonder it's like abba really right so <laughs> the hope is that this side here of splines is the correct size to fit the b series cv because that brand new shaft from jr shaft they bought there isn't but this looks like it will be it does. Oh, it does. Beautiful. Right, so that's good news. Yeah, it looks yeah, it alright, does, doesn't, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, it's so the first problem that we've had with these shafts are um, I bought a CV joint. I bought a, basically I bought a whole shaft from JR shafts because I needed this piece here which goes onto the split shaft, it's like the intermediate shaft, whatever you want to call it. Um, it turns out that the bearing in the centre is huge. It doesn't fit at all. Um, but luckily when I bought a CV joint from JNR shafts for the EP3, the bearing that comes with that one is perfect. So we can still build one shaft, but we can't build two because the drive shaft that they sent is the piece, the brand new piece, the outside splines are different to a standard EP3 one because they don't fit. And those are the B series CVs, but if you pick an EP3 shaft up, that fits beautifully in there. No problem. So either They've remade this thicker using their own CV joints because they've got their own splines there, which if you're just replacing the shaft, that ain't going to matter at all, is it? Because it's a straight swap. Because um, you can see there the bearing. Look at that there compared it's to that. A lot, lot bigger. Yeah, that's from a much bigger shaft. Um, so it wouldn't matter. So basically, I've not got enough to build two shafts, but all I actually need is one of these. Um, a J&R CV joint, which is this one here. They're £20-odd pound brand new. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to buy another one of those, and that means I've got enough to build two shafts, although it'll be a week before I get to here, but still, it's not bad that really. Because the two EP3 shafts, you have a very slightly different lengths. So that's the one there that we're going to be using. And what you need to do is, you need to swap, see the difference there, it's ever so slight. You need to swap the longer shaft from the passenger side and use that on the split shaft and then use the slightly shorter shaft which would have been on your split shaft as the passenger side. That makes no sense but you'll see. Cool. <laughs>
go, we have one drive shaft and split shaft done. So that's the EP3 split shaft, the EP3 short shaft, the near side shaft attached to the offside shaft. That's right, I always get them confused. No. Passenger side shaft of a right hand drive car. I don't know, I'll give up. But yeah, two bits of EP. Yeah, so they swap them around basically with the uh, B series out of CV and that's all touched up, no problem. Looks a good length, looks ideal. So final drive shaft done after another CV joint turned up because I needed the inside spline part. So that's now the split shaft side of the EP3 going onto the passenger side of the Jazz. So full EP3 shafts and CVs, just B series inners and that's your conversion shaft done for your Jazz. So I'll go and fire that in the car now and then that's that part done. Not much more left to do now. 